part two of the video remember the time a past life that you and your twin flame experienced together so this is part three so let's have a look at what we've got here so we have scribe or writer and this connection is governed by the moon so very feminine energies very nurturing energies energies very secretive sort of energies so we have Giza Plateau Hathor love and music so this connection seems to link back to ancient Egypt okay around the Cairo area of Egypt in the ancient times and one of you was a scribe or a writer at this time it could be linked to the priesthood you know a completely masculine um, society maybe um, yeah where well, no women were actually allowed to do that back then and the only women that these writers and scribes saw were like maids or servants that came in to give them food and drink and this this feminine here could have been somebody that came in and met this masculine who was a scribe priest and they both had a love of music and this connected them at that time so what was their connection so we've got deception here Stay optimistic about your love life and romantic feelings. So I feel in this connection the deception is linked to the fact that this this writer, this scribe, um, was not meant to have sexual relations. It was like a priesthood. They were meant to be celibate. And the, the maidservant could have known this but they were overcome with their desires, basically. So, you know, he had to deceive the other people he worked with. He had to keep this a secret, this, you know, this connection. Um, he just couldn't resist the connection and neither could the person, the, the female. And they had romantic feelings. And again, felt like soulmate energy. They felt this deep, deep connection. So they couldn't resist this connection. It was fated. So at first they became friends because it was too much, you know, but then they just, they just could not resist each other anymore. But at first it was just a friendship as she came in every day to give him his meals, his food. He felt scared, he didn't want to look in her eyes because he knew that he'd be lost and she would see his soul. But he just went through a phase of ignoring her and it broke her heart because he wouldn't he refused to look at her or speak to her. He just she would just bring in his food and he didn't engage with her because it was just too much for him. But he, he knew it was fated. He didn't know why, but he knew that he was meant to be with her. So they both had to have patience with each other and themselves at this time. And there was divine assistance in this connection. And they appreciated the small things, the small gestures they could do for each other. The small gifts that they could maybe give each other, like a flower from the garden, you know, or she bought him an extra glass of wine or something. They appreciate that about each other. And eventually they found that way to find their personal happiness and their healing together. And there's a rainbow there. So what have we got here in the tarot? So we've got the Nine of Wands. 
So yes, there was a lot of activity, there was a lot of movement forward eventually after a period of stagnancy. There was a lot of hard work put into this situation eventually on both sides. They did find that union together but it may not have been permanent. I think it was like a short-lived affair at this time. But they did have a period of happiness. But yeah, then there became the conflict because I think people found out about this situation and things got a bit heavy. And Divine Guidance came in basically to save the day, but they both had to separate at that time for their own safety and the world they both realized that they would meet again in another lifetime they may even have said this to each other because they couldn't be together in this lifetime but they did make that promise to each other so what sexual energies So this was a very loving connection, you know, just want to be together, hold each other, be close and just love each other, just snuggle. He loved her body, the feminine's body, he admired her body, he liked to see it, he liked to watch her undress in front of him, he wanted to see everything in the light, he didn't want the lights off. Sometimes all they could do is have a kiss, but the kisses were amazing. Fantastic, deep, deep kisses and connection and holding each other close. Just staring into each other's eyes for hours. Just touching and kissing and loving on each other, central touching. But yeah, times of periods of time where they've fallen out. And other times when he just took her in his arms and had his way with her. Because the force and the passion between them was just unstoppable, basically. So what final message do we have? Well, this is confirmation. Twin flames, your passion ignites. So yes, this twin flame connection is still, you know, it's still a connection. You know, it, it's through time and space. And as I say, they made that promise to be together in another lifetime because they couldn't be together in this lifetime, okay? So thank you for watching Pile 3. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you next time. Take care. Hello, Pile 4. So you chose this stone. Let's go on with your reading. So we have Caltech. We have Scorpio, so one or both of you could be a Scorpio, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, some sort of water connection. So we have family room, concern, distant horizons, gift, privileged lady. So again, this it's got a Victorian feel to it again. So if this is you, you were from quite a well-to-do family, uh, quite a well-to-do background. You had a, a lovely home. You had a, a father figure who was, you know, a businessman. He was quite, you know, he'd done well for himself, basically. He may have inherited money. But you wanted more. You wanted more. You wanted to travel. You wanted to see the world. And 
someone gave you a gift. So let's have a look. So we've got illumination. So although you came from a privileged background, I feel that you knew there was more to life than what you saw in front of you. You realised that there was a lot of poverty, there were people that lived very different lives, and you wanted to help those less fortunate, hence the distant horizons here. You realised you had that inner knowing because you possibly had had previous lifetimes where you had memories of this spiritual side of yourself. And then we've got love, and you wanted that love connection with somebody. You know, you wanted that love connection. So you did some work in the community. You did volunteer work in the community to help those less fortunate than yourself. And again, we've got an 11 here. And you met a, a more mature gentleman. Um, somebody who was established in the world. Somebody who was very learned who had travelled and he taught you a lot and you became lovers basically so what was this love connection so he wanted you to know that it was safe for you to love safe for you to open your heart and give your love to him you got engaged so you had that commitment with them and he was a soulmate connection. And you like to flirt a little. That's how you got talking to him. Because you were very flirtatious sort of energy. So what was your journey like? So he got lost inside of you. His heart, you know, his feelings. When he met you, he got taken over really by these feelings. But he wanted you to know he will be there for you. At first you were just friends, but he, he just knew he wanted to rip your clothes off, basically. So that's strong attraction. And he thinks of you when he's on his alone time. And he wants you to know that you're everything to him. He finds you very sexually alluring and desirous. But he wants your love. And the feminine wants his love. So yeah, she was full of love. You were full of love for this person. And you were open with your heart. You gave your love freely to this person. And he had the financial stability to support you and be there for you. But he also had that love for you as well, that connection. And you cared very much for each other. And you obviously you made that commitment, you got engaged, and I do feel you got married in this lifetime. It's a very loving connection here. So what else do we have? So, yes, there was a lot of financial stability here. You, you know, you came from a privileged background. You had that financial stability behind you. Okay, but the person you met wanted you to prove to you that they had that, you know, to give you that lifestyle. But you were fine on your own. You weren't looking for love at the time. You weren't looking for love. You were fine on your own, quite happy on your own. But you started to develop yourself spiritually and you had these magical gifts and you could manifest things into your life. And again, you, had, you built up your own financial stability. You didn't need your dad's or your parents. You built up your own finances. And this guy was your king of pentacles. Your twin flame was your king of pentacles. Possibly an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but he had that financial stability, you know, that emotional stability. He was that man who was going to be there for you. 
and you were the Queen of Wands, so you were possibly Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You were very passionate, very driven, and you were both complete opposites, but there was that fire, that attraction between you. So what sexual energies? So yeah, you were very passionate together, very much into each other's bodies, love making. But sometimes it got a bit too much. <laughs> And he liked to be your, he's, he wanted to be your king to you, you the queen. You know, he sometimes liked to dominate you, but he loved touching your hair and stroking on you. You know, he just loved making love to you in the bedroom, giving you chocolates and treats, just treating you like a queen. And he just wanted to wish you away on his horse and look after you for the rest of his life. And he wanted a piece of you, he had a piece of your hair, he loved the smell of your hair, the feel of your hair, and he loved to dominate you in the bedroom. <laughs> so let's get some final messages from him. Trust. So he's asking you to trust him. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So yes, you're definitely connected through time and space. So there your message is powerful. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Many blessings. Take care.